the power pack, we've got to make sure that we've got enough pressure to run everything. At the moment, the drill is not hooked up to the pressure line, and I'll turn it on, and the gauge will stall, go to stall. <laughs> That's what the, the pump is regulated to. Mm -hmm. So that's full pressure. And the power pack must have that full pressure. Okay. Right. So you just put that hose so in So I just put that hose in there, that's the main pressure line. It goes into the side of the valve on the leg and it's teed and the other one goes round to the inlet of the drill. And this one here, the other one here, is the return back to tank from the drill. Just a sec. Just let me get focus here. Now if just, we run sorry, the power sorry, pack. Sorry, just say that again. The return, yep. This one here is the return to the tank yep. from the drill. We've got another return underneath here, which is just from the leg. Now when I turn the power pack on now, there's the operating pressure of the oil return to the tank. So that's the right operating pressure on now, is that yep. right? Okay. That that's the pressure of the oil going straight through the drill and back to the tank. Yep. What did you just do there? This is the throttle for the vat, for the leg. Yep. And that's the discharge from the leg. So throttle. That's the throttle. Yep. And that's the return. That's the return. Okay. And that's the drill throttle, which operates everything. Drill throttle? Yep. Yep. Here's the water flushing. That's the, sorry? The That's the water, the flushing water. Right, right, right. You don't put on any more than you need. Yep. So let's go. What's the operating pressure you need to run the drill? Your unit has got to show 2,000 plus without the drill plugged in. On the gauge? On the gauge. So do it again. We plug it in, the main pressure line. Yep. And run it again. And there's the pressure. Nothing on. Now when I turn the hat, the drill on. There's the pressure that's got to run out. So 
Wait, wait. Okay. Your inlet line that tees on the valve of the leg and comes round and goes into the inlet side. And it's got it written on the drill. Yep. In. Then your outlet one is your drill back to the tank. Okay. And, and then you've got your third one, which is this one, and that's just the leg returned to the tank. Right. And this is water for flushing. Water for flushing. And the knob at the front. That's the throttle for the leg. Yep. That's the dump for the leg. Sorry, the blue handle, dump for the leg. Dump for the leg. Yep. And this is the drill throttle. Right. Okay. Anything else? Uh, there's a little lever here, and that's the rotation. Right. Forward, reverse, and neutral. Okay. Anything else? That's it. I'm ready. Right. The power pack of ours has got an AC motor driving the hydraulics. The hydraulic delivery has to be at least 39 litres a minute with a capacity of 2,000 psi. When the drill's not operating, or yeah. when it's operating? When the, when the drill's not operating, yep. it'll go to 2,000 psi. Right. When it's operating, it must operate on a pressure between 1850 and 1950. Okay. But it must have the 39 litres a minute. Just, it's just not enough oil to run everything, mm -hmm. anything less than that. If okay. it drops to 34, you may get a uh, hammer, but you definitely won't get rotation. And the hammer will be really, really weak. So, just say that again. We've got this one, which is done so it's easy to get around. It's remote control on electric drive tracks. Then we've got this one, which is all manual, the shift, which is the same capacity as the track one. 39 litres a minute. Yep. Yep. And then we've got the first one that was ever built. I'll just shift this thing around. Uh -huh. That's alright. Which has got all the same capacities as the other two.